content. So it might be art, it might be movies, it might be novels, it could be comic books. Um, I want it to be open to every, women who create everything. But the idea is it's, it's darker, deeper content. So there's some horror writers, so I tend to write really screwed up thrillers. Um, you know, my comic book's black and white. And um, so we're doing a, uh, our first non-convention appearance at Blast Off Comics on January 27th at 8 o'clock. It's a free event. And Barbara's going to uh, moderate it for us and try and corral us and keep us on point. And she does so well. And she's been moderating this panel with me for uh, the past year at like six different conventions. And it's uh, had a great response from women and men because we give you permission to be dark and fucked up. But you can find us, uh, you can find all of our comics at different comic book stores, Meltdown, Golden Apple, uh, Heidi Ho Comics, Blast Off, Emerald Knight. And we usually, we usually do some events, I mean, we don't have anything scheduled right off the bat right now, but we usually do some events at Emerald Knight mm -hmm. uh, Comics at least once or twice a year. They have a couple of really cool indie uh, uh, creator days where specifically focused on uh, smaller creators. Um, we'll be at Tiny <coughs> Hill Comics for Free Comic Book Day, which is, uh, is I'm sure, all of you know. It's a fantastic job. Saturday in May. Um, it's a wonderful day and a wonderful job. Um, what is their new location? Their new location is going to be, they haven't moved yet, yeah, but, they sure they the here, but they're going to be moving closer to the open, like actually physically closer. So I don't remember the name of the street, but it will be <coughs> announcing it very soon. But, but they're still fully set up in there. Uh, Earth 2 and Sherman Oaks is another one that we usually do at least one or two appearances a uh, year. They have a great uh, thing they do, I think it's on Saturdays or Sunday mornings, where they have uh, create comic creators come in and, and draw with uh, essentially like a kid who sign up mm -hmm. to come spend an hour or two with a comic creator and sort of learn some, some uh, drawing techniques, uh, talk a little bit about their comics. Uh, Blast Off, as you mentioned, is a fantastic shop, and, and we're, uh, we do appearances occasionally in there, but I would say just in general, like if you've never been in Blast Off, you should stop by. It's a really cool shop, and, and uh, Judge, the, the guy who runs it, is just really like-minded, very positive, very proactive about uh, uh, helping the world around him with some of the keepiness. So, mm -hmm. is there any other shops? Nostalgia, Hudson Comics, which is in Sandia Real, is a wonderful shop as well. Where is Blast.com? Blast.com is in Langerton, just south of Magnolia. By the new one. <laughs> 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 so you guys are pretty much just LA based right now. We are based in, in here in, in LA. But I mean, your shows, your conventions, everything. You do like one or two out of state yeah, conventions. Yeah, last year we started going out to state. We did Phoenix Comic Con. Uh, in state, we went a little farther with Silicon Valley Comic Con. Um, we would love to expand outward, but. Uh, are you doing Silicon this year? Yes. Yes, we'll be there. It's a wonderful show. We love it. <laughs> now, did you buy a booth or an artist alley table? Artist alley. <coughs> okay. yeah. I know a guy who happens to be setting those booths. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling. Tomorrow, he's okay. setting those booths. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He lives in Bakersfield. <laughs> I'm wearing this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we also hear wonderful things about Bakersfield. We have them, yes. Yeah. Well, because we, we run nine other shows. And Pasadena? Pasadena, which I actually... He just asked me about doing Women on the Dark Side of Pasadena. I said, why don't you do it the next day here in town? So I'll send Because I have a couple slots left for the panel. Yeah, I'll send emails out tonight and okay. see if he's available. Excellent. Email Madeline. And email me at, you won't forget this, info at bakersfieldcomicon.com. I'll get it. And this is why the comic book industry and the animation industry are both wonderful. Because with networking like this and wonderful people like you that are just so down to earth and nice and positive and love for you. So just a big thank you to all of you for being awesome and nice and wonderful. Well, I have to say that I'm very impressed with the professional <coughs> quality of your presentation. Well, thank you for <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
promote, if you're if you have questions, if you want to share things, or you have new ideas, please feel free to grab our cards. We are always happy to answer questions, to share experiences, or just chat and grab coffee. We're in North Hollywood. Mm -hmm. We're around the corner. Go to a so comic so shop together. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. Um, but uh, we'll be yeah. Why aren't you joining us? Oh, this is our, this is our first time here. Am I, well, am I allowed because I can't Are you in the industry? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're lucky because you really used to be no editors because we wanted to have a safe place to trash talk editors. <laughs> that was one of the original rules. But as, as you've mentioned, over the last 15 to 20 years, the democratization of the arts and the technological revolution that we're in, mm -hmm. Those lines are all blurred now, yeah. and everybody's doing everything. Everybody's wearing their the different hats. Yeah. And, um, I try to be a really nice. Let Let me ask you this question, and I don't mean to, I don't mean to uh, I guess to to uh, be negative at all with, with your experience of not having uh, you know the ability to draw or animate. But do you does anyone here find it easier or harder to work with an editor who is also an artist or a writer himself? Um, <laughs> most of the editors I've worked with are pretty easy going in that I mean not asking for a lot of rewrites or not putting their fingers into it themselves. Sure. The editors I've worked with who were or currently were or used to be writers would tend if there were any fixes to do it themselves without really corrupting the work. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just because they didn't want to send it back and ask sure. the writer to do it again because they know what that's like. Right, right. I think it's primarily the initial stuff. Uh, advertising, in-house graphic design, corporate craft. And the art directors and account people that you work with who actually have some talent are a whole lot, le lot, whole lot less likely to say, well, I don't know what I want, but I'll know it when I see it. So <laughs> I'll try a lot of different variations and maybe hit something I like. <laughs> so you know, I, I much prefer somebody who has a clear idea. Uh, but the boundary there is, uh, are they giving you your their their idea and letting you run with it, or are they wanting you to draw their idea right. exactly the way they see it, right. and you're just being their hand? Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a nice, comfortable area in between those two streets. Yeah. That's, uh, 